George Orwell once said, Football is a game in which every nation has its own style of play, which seems unfair to foreigners. Roy Aitken, former captain of Scotland and sports director of Al Ali, the club who topped the United Arab Emirates Premier League, is sure that his club and the UAE are close to finding theirs. We are developing our players all the time. We bring in four players, international players from outside of the UAE, but the bulk of our squad are, are local players. But what we're trying to do here in the Emirates, we're trying to set the standard based on the European standard. And slowly but surely, off the pitch and on the pitch, we're closing the gap. Al Ahli could bridge the gap thanks to general state support, topped up with private sponsorships. The bulk of the money comes from the government, from the sheikhs of the country. They are very keen on developing sport in the region. And our club is not only a football club, football is the main sport, but we have also basketball, handball. At professional level, we have cycling, we have karate. So all the kids that come in through our system, and we have kids coming from eight years of age onwards, uh, hundreds, of, hundreds of young kids come in, they end up playing some sort of sport at the club. So the club is a sport and cultural club. Al Ali have nine youth teams from the under 8s to the under 90s. The young players train five days per week. In 2014, they will take advantage of a new training center, which is almost ready. Al Ali, like the Ravas, work both for their own glory and for the UAE national team, because in Dubai, the country always comes first. For these reasons, nobody should be surprised when the United Arab Emirates reached the World Cup finals again, as they did in 1990. I think the future is very bright. The, local, the national team at the moment are the number one team in the region. They have some very, very good young uh, international players. So the next generation of players, I think, is going to be very, very good for UE national team in general.